I just got back from getting pizza and the cutscene is over, yay? It took long enough? Yeah, no kidding. That's how I feel. I master. I might just be able to use Cardi in here. Yeah. Why does he storm the re the real one, but not the fake one? Does he know? Hmm? Does he know? Does anybody know? Do you know? Do I know? He, me, she know? No. What a fucking asshole this guy is. Go fuck yourself. Seriously. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Oh, okay. Well, amazing. Truly incredible. Something else. Wow, what a disaster. So we cannot return from once we came. You thought you got back as the stream ended? No, not quite. Yeah, the stream's not over until this map is over, probably. Unless it gets really late. Why did I group all my units up like that? What an idiot I am. <laughs> this is map one of a campaign. Jesus Christ. I've, how many maps are in this campaign? There are 22 maps in this campaign. Oh, where did I find this map? In the pits of fucking hell. I don't really know how best to make use of this fucking crystal. I guess we just have to pull them over with Maradun or something. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm trying to pull them over, but only zealots come. And zealots are not worth killing when you can just kill them like this. Yeah, it's not I mean, It's not worth it. Like, the only thing that's worth killing are the High Templar, which you can't aggro, and the fucking Archon, which you can aggro, but it's inconsistent as fuck. So I don't even know what you're supposed to do in this instance. This feels like a really stupid section in particular. It doesn't even feel like I'm fighting a real enemy is the problem. Like, at no point do I feel like I'm fighting a real enemy. It feels like I'm fighting this stupid AI that's like, in some cases is impossible to really avoid shit, and then in other cases is just dumb. <laughs> like, like that zealot. That was just not doing anything. So we know that there's a bunch of shit over here. Amazing. <laughs> Why would I even bother, honestly? Oh my goodness. I'm so glad that I saved that High Templar. I didn't- I had no idea there was a High Templar over there. I would not have- I probably would not have cast it. We just need a unit that isn't Maradun? I don't know, I tried activating it with Maradun earlier and it didn't do anything, so... Isn't it better to restart? I am not restarting this whole map, man. You're crazy. Holy shit, we- we're doing it, guys. Oh my god! Fuck! Ho oh, ho! What a fucking disaster. I don't seem to be getting anywhere, dude. What are you talking about? You watching the same stream? I almost won that area. Okay. Yeah, we might be able to just win doing this retarded shit over and over again. <laughs> okay. Remember when I said I, I don't feel like I'm fighting a real enemy? This is what I meant. Fucking amazing. I'm so good at this game. Holy shit. Suck my dick. That was so good. Let's just storm it up. Beautiful. Holy moly. Oh boy. Rich Stamper's room. Maradun and Cardin survived. Fuck yeah, they did. Because I'm amazing. My leash, where are you? This is executive Maradun. Hawk's palace is under attack. How kind of servile of you to inform me of that? Lord Emperor. Excellent. Hawk's palace is now in my control, and the elite of the palace are defeated. This palace and your empire belong to me. What a what a mean man. But, but oh gods. Wow. What a what a line. I like how he had to add that little bit in about where they were warped to, instead of us finding out later. Exposition. Good, good work removing the opposition, Lord Crassius. Lord Ashtorium, General, we can't pronounce the name Crassius. If the Imperial inhabitants do discover that the ruler is no longer their dearest story, it's capital punishment for us. Bevelisk. You got a loyal servant of your brother is still alive. High Counselor Thalandros. If your research is correct, Thalandros is the most skilled Templar. Both will be tasked with supervising Project Mind Curtain in the subterranean caves. Bevelisk, see that Maradun is executed at once by your specialist. <laughs> Excellent, Lord Ashtorium. Some minutes later, at the palace gates. Listen to me, my members of the Imperial Court. I've established an alliance with Admiral Bevelisk and his turn followers. Strange. I've heard your voice is quite distinct. There's something different about your person, almost as if it was not yourself speaking. Save Stylendris. There is something different with the Emperor indeed. His thoughts seem dark, full of hatred, in direct contrast with his once robust personality. Enough! Amazing. Our gods, their brains, melted. No one different than that, except, except him. <laughs> This is so goofy. Crassius! Ah, it is you! I knew you would come! How by the name of a dude do you know of my existence? Your empire does not keep track of the conclave or anything on iron. I will turn to him later. My followers feel free to dispatch the rest of them. Why wouldn't he just mind melt them? Wow. Pals is under our command, Lord Crassius. Our troops are moving into the Citadel. The defenders of Ansham obeyed your orders and didn't oppose our army. And sham. It is a sham. This whole campaign is a sham. Oh yes, Ashtorian. He'll be left in the dungeon. It is important to keep him alive. He may be eventually used as a trump card if the dire need arises. Some hours later, 600 meters below the Hawk's Palace. Well, here we are. This is one of the entrances to a vast complex of underground caves that covers the huge area of the planet. It is known as the Dark Underground. The Empire used to drop insurgents and criminals in this area, leaving them to die of psionic starvation or critter attack. Critter attack? Oh, no. Enjoy your eternal stay in the Dark Underground. I thought they were going to execute him. And, well, I may have some prisoners to torture soon, starting with your dear Zelda acolyte, Praetor Cardin. But don't worry, you'll meet him in the Protoss Hell. <laughs> the, the Protoss Hell. It's hell for Protoss people. 
Arg. I forgot about the strong psionic field Crassius cast on you. I don't know why, maybe waste my precious time. Extermination team, go ahead. So goofy, man. I forgot about that thing I had to exposit to the audience, otherwise they wouldn't know what was going on because they're too stupid. Uh, what are we meant to do now, mates? Frank the Protoss and then... You've always been a last cause, haven't you, Mike? I predicted you were gonna say something moronic. Afterwards, we were told to proceed to Commander Hand's post. Dumbass. Afterwards, we were told to exposit our plans to the Protoss, who is certainly gonna kill us. You, Mike, is our job not to allow any witness of his coup d'etat escape, starting with this Templar, who we haven't killed yet, because... <laughs> Guess what? He's gonna kill us and then know all this information that we've exposited. <laughs> Cause I'm really good at telling a story. Target, fire on my signal. What the fuck? What the hell is this? Interesting. So the ruthless historian has been deposed and being impersonated. Obviously. Anyway, this very disappointing one for days in the dark underground which meet you, dying Templar. Because work? Alive? The, the, the Empire threw you in the uh, uh, underground centuries ago. H how is it th that you live? Ah, uh, you did that. After your brother left me here to die, tried to attempt an assassination, I found other outcasts who were also sentenced to death. Some managed to survive as well. We all inhabit an ancient underground citadel now, waiting for the day when we will be able to rise to the surface again. Why wouldn't they just execute them if they're sentenced to death? I don't understand. This is really, like, backwards and really confusing. Uh, astonishing. I could never imagine. <laughs> We call ourselves the Zagire clan, and I currently lead the clan as uncontested centurion. Thus, it appears that the situation in the outside world is no more pleasant than ours. You should be given a chance to endure and claim revenge, Margin. If. If what? 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 Oh my god, he actually asked. If? If you live, you shall gain our support against this conspiracy. However, since we Zagire may help you in this endeavor, all the charges against us who have been thrown here to die will be withdrawn. We will be given employment as Imperial Guards, and all members of the Zagire shall earn the status of Imperial citizens once again. I like how they just want to work again. <laughs> That's funny. Unthinkable. All the fiends who have been thrown here were judged by the Imperial Lot and branded as t t traitors. I cannot a a ally with such beings. B b being, by the way. Indeed, you can always try to survive on your own against the dozens of conspirators who will arrive to investigate the turned corpses. This is unbelievable. Hmm, you convince me. Are these all the demands of your clan to take me into your fold? Why did everybody tell their plans of the first minute of contact? That is exactly my question. If you manage to survive, I, Glazarek, Centurion, and Master Assassin of the Zagar, will take you into our group. But know that only you, not my compassion or lack of it, are responsible for your success or failure. Ooh, Glazarek is edgy. He's got a real dark past. <laughs> in his ass. Well, Maradun's got two HP and no shields, so this is wonderful. Doesn't look like he can regain shields, actually, so we're gonna have to scout out ahead exclusively with Klazarek, Mr. Edgeman. Well, let's go ahead and save. That's me. Wow, that was so cool. Don't say that. Wait, what's over here? Terran storage container. Some doodad or something I can't get access to. All right, so we need to size Storm. He has energy, but can't get shields for some reason. Storm? <laughs> That's funny. Hi, hey, hey, hey. And in case anybody has, is just like panning through the video and wondering why I keep relaunching the game from scratch, it's because for whatever reason the uh, loading crashes it on 116.1. I don't know why. This was originally a 110 mod. My genius mind prevails, by the way. Stop saying Juminar. It's very racist. I remember this area being very gimmicky, so prepare your anus for gimmicks, is all I can say. Not enough you. A force field. I cannot get through. <laughs> they have a force field and two tanks. <laughs> what a joke. Why? Why even bother? I don't know, man. I can't help but imagine that there was uh, a way to make this not infuriating. What? Holy shit, that scared me. Okay. Um... What? Holy shit, that's, scary. that's so scary, man. Okay. Let's just get over here and fuck this one up. Oh, okay. That works. Who's there? Please, set us free. No. They are members of my guard. Let us free them. Oh, Klazarak. Free them? What? They don't do anything to me. Why should I help them? What an idiot. Honestly, what a fucking moron. Because I helped you against the Terran guns. Beings who work together can be stronger. Find a way to free the prisoners. Klazarak must survive. Seems that the destruction of the Terran guns is unlocked a security block somewhere in this cave. I like how you just know that. Unknowable thing. Straight up unknowable. Could not know it ever, by the way. Oh, and then he's just stuck here. You're not allowed to bring him back. <laughs> what if there were a billion Spider-Mans that we accidentally missed or something? And now we, we can't actually progress because this. Incredible. Hi. Bizarre, the Terran seemed to have left this barrel beside the structure. What could be stored in it? I don't know. Click on it and find out. Now let me see how powerful this device can be. Excellent. Photon bombs! Whoa! We've got photon bombs with your name on it, by the way. <laughs> well, hopefully this gives us some way to... Move away from the door! What if it killed me and not Mar Maradun? <laughs> that would be so fun. Hi. Found explosives. Rescue the person. Wow, that's so cool. Make your way across the dark underground. All your units must survive. Why couldn't we have gotten the photon bombs before? Oh, hello. Bomb set on force field, move away from it. Oh! What a haha. -ha. We'll just wait for energy for another uh, 
another hallucination. I would never have figured out that you had to do that, so I'm glad the hallucinations bugged out and made that happen. Okay, cool. So that'll burn down eventually. Oh! Go fuck yourself. Whatever. Unable to attack target, by the way. Invincible bunkers, by the way. How do you set a bomb on a force field? Whoa! 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 So zany! So crazy! Whoa! So cool. Nice mineralis, by the way. Okay. Did we get Maradun yet? Or... I can see bunkers and detected turrets ahead. Fortunately, a destruction of the refinery seems to have cut their power and transmission in half, so they cannot activate all the turrets at the time. We must move while the turrets are deactivated. Hey, 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 whoa! Invulnerable, by the way. Red alert, all panel units. I'm detecting a number of protoss and troopers in the cave. Security detector monitors, keep your patrols. All marines, stay in your bunkers. As long as our generator stands, we will be safe. But sir, the generator cannot supply all systems at a time. We will have detection failures in some areas, for sure. The invaders might sneak in. Shut up. I know, but your orders remain. Stay where you are. My mechanism detectors are more really than prepared to bust any intruders. I'm also calling back all men we sent to recon caves. Sir, what about the crystal? We haven't finished analyzing it. Sir, what about this exposition? We haven't finished telling it. We can only hope it doesn't benefit the protoss. I've heard enough of them. Now Imperials step back and watch out some of the underground fights. Only stealth will prevail in such a situation. We should also look for the crystal dimension. <laughs> How fucking awkward. How fucking awkward can this dialogue truly be? Wee 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 wee. Destroy the Terran opposition. All units must survive. What? Excuse me? What the fuck? Didn't he tell them to stay in their fucking bunkers? <laughs> Enemy vessels are online? Oh, they weren't online before? What the fuck? Experimental droid. This is really interactive, man. Strike now. I sure am glad that they're Goliaths are super epic. Charging lasers in three seconds. Oh, the crystal they were blabbing about is a healing KR crystal. This will be much easier than I thought. I almost feel sorry for these apes. Almost. Excuse me. I'm just gonna kill all this shit. Fuck them up. Yeah, you really got a genius mind, man. My man. Oh, I thought it was just a one-time thing. I'm an idiot. I didn't even save when I got to that healing crystal. Fuck. All right, well, I mean, we can, we can just sit here and do nothing, I guess. I don't know, man. Interactivity. I would actually like to see people attempt to make mi micro maps that were more interesting than the average micro mission that from Blizzard or whatever. The problem is all of these my, like sub missions that you get they use completely different strategies than before so you actually have like a completely different setup then you don't get to learn anything that actually benefits you for a lasting amount of time you know what i mean yeah yeah yeah. we don't give a shit yeah this tank in particular i want to get rid of 450 health jesus christ what are they making these tanks out of these days and we can just like activate this uh laser shit and then come over here and kiss these units to death we gotta go hide holy shit Beautiful. All according to plan. <laughs> oh my god, I think I had like three health there. That's pretty good. You can make a really long mission like this, but if you're gonna introduce a new mechanic, it has to build on what you've already introduced. Otherwise, why keep it in the same mission? You know what I mean? Like it only makes sense to keep it within the same map if there's something keeping the maps together. What do you mean they're online? I killed the generator. Jesus Christ. Did it not take into effect? Oh, the generator just made their fucking things invulnerable? That's weird. I was not expecting that. That was not clear. Oh, that almost killed me, actually. That would have been really bad. Let's see if we can knock him out. He just gets fucking warped. What a joke. What a fucking joke. All right, let's go get healed. What the fuck? He's a laser rifle. That's spooky. Hey, you're not the right Goliath. Where's the real guy? Come on. Stop running around like a fucking asshole. Jesus Christ. Aye, aye, aye. That really makes it a lot more hard, difficult than it needs to be to play the game, I think. Well, I guess it's gonna take a lot longer than I thought. Why did the generator make him invulnerable anyways? Anytime you make units invulnerable, you better have a really fucking good explanation. And it can't just be a generator, by the way. Come on, get over here, you- Oh my god, he's gonna teleport. What a fucking asshole, man. Jesus Christ, that's so infuriating when he does that. Wow, that's such a cool sound effect, man. You're so cool, Metathrum. Giving tanks the shitty sound effect. Doesn't fit with the tank at all. Please kill this guy. Fucking hell. The advanced Goliath and the generator. We're so cool, guys. Hey, boner man. What is Pokemon music? I don't know, man. It's anime. What? Amazing. Turn commander, anything to say before I cut you in half? Damn. Um, hey, chap. I'm sorry if I upset you. 
I'm following orders of your emperor, Astorium himself, to shoot down any hostiles. Protoss or Terran, they come into the cage. Astorium, Bester, do not dare to call that imposter Ash to the Torium. Well, I beg your pardon. Bizarre. Hmm. I thought Terrans were the ones who brought the imposter, but you seem to be over the fact that Astorium was deposed. Interesting. Isn't it executor? Why do the units have custom voice sets yet? The dialogue is not because there's a million fucking dialogue lines, because it never ends! Wow, oh bollocks. Now nah, that's serious. How come Bevelus not informed us about that? But because Bevelus is one of the conspirators, he is a fighter. Now tell me, if you value my miserable life, what's your agenda here? Bug off me. I'm as surprised as you are, chat. I'm not aware of any damn plot to depose your emperor. God bloody knows it. Actually, two minutes ago, I thought you mojoing your empire were allies. Allies! <laughs> Why does he do this? Yeah, I do not see how bringing this inferior alien with us could harm my clan. Let us move before more of our foes arrive. Like this fucking medic that's been sitting here this entire conversation. Holy shit! I won! Oh my god! Oh moly! Wow, wow! I was not expecting that one, man. I was so sure that I was in for like three more hours of that map. Holy shit! I've been live for three hours and 20 minutes, and over two hours of that, well, at least two hours of that was this map. Wowee. Yeah, that's what I thought. One third of this map explored. I was certain I would be fucked. Holy moly. Okay, well, that was... <laughs> Starcraft has stopped working, by the way, but that was the first half of the Flame Knives. I don't give a shit if it doesn't show me the score screen. I care not. I only care that I have actually won. Okay, well, uh, yeah, that's how... <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, that is a that is a map for the ages. When we come back, we'll be playing the second map, which is uh I don't know what it's called. We'll find out when that when that happens. <laughs>